Hi friends, it's Rabbi Briskin with a thought for Shabbat. What is holiness and how can we continually strive to be holy? One way is by striving to be just. And this process of pursuing justice is always aspirational. It's never finished. In the second of this week's double parasha, Parsha Kiddoshim, our aspiration towards holiness is affirmed and commanded with these words. Kiddoshim tihiyu, ki kadosh ani Adonai Elohechem. You shall be holy, for I, the eternal, your God, am holy. Rabbi Ellen Lippman, a contemporary American rabbi, suggests, based on a teaching of Rabbi Chaim Ibn Atar, an 18th century scholar and mystic in his work called Or HaChaim, she suggests that holiness is directed through the verb tihiyu, you will be, you shall be holy. Lippmann writes, it is future tense, and the Or HaChaim reminds us, and will always be future. There is no end to this mitzvah, the Or HaChaim says, so our task is to hold it, to hold holiness in front of us as a goal. This is at the beginning of Parashat Kiddoshim, which then goes on to articulate more than 40 ritual and ethical commandments that help us become holy, that help us strive to be holy. And one of those mitzvot that has been on my mind in particular this week comes from Leviticus chapter 19, verse 15. The text reads, You shall not render an unfair decision. Do not favor the poor or show deference to the rich. In this light, our task as the Or HaChaim suggests, is to keep to he you. You shall be holy in front of us. When the guilty verdicts against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin were read, there was not only a national collective sigh of relief that justice indeed prevailed, but there was a sense that things might possibly be beginning to change. However, many commentators remind us that this was just the first conviction. While Derek Chauvin was being tried, more unarmed people of color were being shot by law enforcement officers. And we wonder how many of these incidents will go to trial. Much more work needs to be done. We need to continue to strive towards justice, which leads towards holiness. And this is why we focus on the future, on continually striving to become holy. Kiddoshim tihiyu, you shall be holy, you will be holy. When we work diligently day by day to pursue holiness, especially by pursuing justice for all people, we hasten a messianic vision of a world built on peace, equality, justice, and love. The Chauvin conviction was one step forward in a pursuit of justice that leads to holiness. But there are many more steps, steps that need to be taken. Let us continue to keep moving forward as we enact necessary changes that will create a more just, safe, and equitable society. Shabbat Shalom.